Hello my friends and welcome back to another tutorial video for Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. In this tutorial I'm going to be going through a new feature that was introduced in the version 0.1.19 release of Komorebi. So please do keep in mind that in order to follow along you'll need to be running at least this version. So if we have a look here at our configuration file, we can see that we have various uh, layouts set on our different workspaces. But sometimes, especially if you're a new user, one of the things that can be really helpful is to have a bunch of windows open and then just flick backwards and forwards through the different layouts available. We have a bunch of windows open here. I'm also gonna open a terminal. And so what we can now do is run this command, comorebc cycle layout. Now, why don't we move this over to the left so it's a bit easier to see. Uh, this takes a single argument, either previous or next. And because it cycles, when you reach the end of the list of the available layouts, it'll cycle right back to the start. So maybe you only need to assign one of these. Maybe you, need, maybe you prefer to assign both. I don't know. It's up to you. But let's go through this and see how it works. We can go next. We can go next. We can go next. We can go next. And we can just keep going until we're back to where we were. And so if you want to know what each of these are, you can uh, you can check, check the logs, right? So we're going to do cycle layout next. And you can see that the next layout here is horizontal stack. So this is the horizontal stack layout. You can do it again here. And we can look again. This is the ultra wide vertical stack layout. And again, now we'll have, I think this is the BSP layout and so on and so forth. So, you know, you can get a workspace with a lot of windows open. You can cycle through all of these layouts and you can just see, you know, which one feels, which one feels the best for you. Uh, if you check the logs, you'll find the name of the, the layout that you prefer. And then you can just come on back here. Um, if you have autocomplete set up, you can hit control and space and you can pick your preferred layout. What was this one? This one I think was BSP. I'm, I'm generally a BSP fan, but on ultra wide monitors, I do like the ultra wide vertical stack layout. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. That's all there is to it. Cool new feature. And uh, I do want to give a shout out to the person who came up with this feature. If I can find the pull request. Uh, yeah. Thank you to Pushashwa Ravi Srimali. Um, really good idea. I think it's a really good example of, you know, it's a simple feature to implement. It's a simple command, but it's, it's such a great quality of life improvement. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, before we go, I'd like to give a shout out as always to the lovely, lovely sponsors of this project. Thank you to the private sponsor. Thank you to Michael, Ace Linkio, Timothy, Leandro, Maxwell, Gustavo, Solomon, Alex, Evan, Julian, and Hisayuki. My friends, you are all awesome. Thank you again and again and again so much for your support. If you too would like to become a sponsor, head on over to the repo, hit the sponsor button. Even if you're only able to sponsor for a dollar a month, it just makes such a huge difference to me. I appreciate it so much. If however you are not in a position to become a sponsor, 
the next best thing that you can do is subscribe to this channel on YouTube. This channel that you're probably already watching this video on. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We currently have 675 subscribers. You may have noticed if you've been watching other tutorial videos on this channel or maybe some of the live programming videos that there are ads appearing now. I do not get a cut of those ads until we hit 1000 subscribers. So if you do subscribe to the channel, help us reach a thousand subscribers. It's a really nice passive way for you to support the future development of this project. If you like this video, please make sure to hit like on YouTube and leave a comment. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.